And what these haters talking about And what these suckers talking about Hey yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day, feeling blessed, and like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. So with that being said, man, happy Halloween to everybody, man. I was going to drop a video yesterday, but I had got off work at 7 in the morning, slept till 4, wanted to go live, wanted to drop a video, wound up crashing back out like at 6.30 or 7, woke up at 2 in the morning, body was exhausted, I had to get my sleep. But I also want to address this video, so let's get right into it. With that being said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description for my Apple and Spotify music. Go ahead and run my streams up. And you can check out my playlist section on my YouTube channel and check out my music right there. Thank you guys for you guys' time. Most importantly, thank you guys for you guys' support. Now, I did see a video that John Diesel did about, uh, you know, Renegade Media doing a song with Mozzie. You know, did Ma is Mozzie a sellout for that? Well, first and foremost... You know, I never came on YouTube and portrayed like some of the people would have capitalized on that and lied and made up a fake story that nobody can verify. Like, yeah, bro, I hit the studio with Mozzie. I got to meet Brother Brother and, you know, he shook my hand, took some pictures. He recorded the verse. So, you know, I paid cash in full. I never came on YouTube and did that. Just because I dropped the verse, having a featured verse from him, I didn't tell none of my audience members. Like, yeah, man, I met the boy. I met the No, I just said I cashed out for the verse. Now, cashing out, I leased it. You know, DJ Flip is somebody that I follow for a very long time. He has a lot of mainstream artists that go in his studio. They'll dump a verse. He buys the verse. He puts it on his beats and he sells them as package deals. You can get a verse from him. You know, it's all for independent artists to finally have featured artists to build their streams up, promotional songs, get their views up, you know, finally get their music out there. You know, that's what that man does. That's why I follow DJ Flip so much, man, because the individual does provide opportunities like this. Now, the lease agreement, as I'm showing you on the screen, meaning that I got the verse, I paid for the verse, I'm allowed to use the verse with certain rights, certain mechanical rights, but even then I'm having problems with it right now. I could drop it on YouTube, but I can't drop it on DistroKid and on, for Spotify and Apple Music because since Mozzie's such a big mainstream artist, they need more verifiable proof than these contracts that were provided to me. I already got that DJ Flip, man. It's been a freaking circus trying to drop this song. I'm starting to think that I shouldn't have did it. You know, $500 down the drain. But to me, it was me investing in my music because I noticed with my audience, a lot of people have listened to my music now. So why shouldn't I invest in myself? You know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I've been doing with this YouTube money, buying all my equipment, investing in my studio equipment for my YouTube channel. I have the means and opportunity to invest in myself. I got the means and opportunity if I want to to this day. You know, I can go get a verse from Jay Stylin for 500 bucks. Shady Nate offered me a deal one day for 500 bucks. You know, I can work with good artists if I wanted to. It's just life gets in the way. You know, I started working. I also moved out of state. You know, I have opportunities getting thrown at me. Sometimes I can't take them because I'm too focused on other things. But in due time, I'll make those moves happen to invest in my music. Now, I never once said to anybody and any of my audience members, and the reason why I'm doing this video is to clear the air, because I wouldn't want my audience members. I don't care about anybody else in the damn world, anybody on YouTube and they're in their comment sections that have this you know, critical way of thinking about me and what I should and shouldn't be doing, what I can and can't be saying, who I should and shouldn't be rapping with. Still, it's the fact that the matter is my audience members means most to me. They're the ones listening to my music. So I don't want them to believe. That's why I'm doing this video. I don't want you guys to believe that you know, I went in there and I met Mozzie. I was working deals with Mozzie. I knew Nano, such and like that. No, I went through DJ Flip. This is my first time I did this deal. I've been wanting to do it for many times when he had Phoenix Flex in, the OA GZ. Uh, he, had a, he had a verse one time for Bootsy, Bootsy Badass. And I was like, ah, Bootsy's too much. I, I can't do that one. But, uh, you know, he does provide opportunities for independent artists to work with mainstream artists. That's all I did was invest in myself. And that's all I ever wanted to do was just get my music out there a little bit more. I wanted to see if I can go bar for bar with the individual. That's it. I highly doubt the individual knew who this individual was selling the verse to. Because in reality, it's a limited, it was a limited time offer. I think it was only available for 72 hours because Mozzie's such a big artist. And that's it. So when the, the, when the clock ended, I purchased it right there, paid 500 bucks for it right there, got it. Went to the studio, recorded it, threw it online so I could be at least the first one with this man's verse. Because it was one verse with three or four different beats. So I picked my beat, my verse, rapped on it, dropped it, so I could be the first one to talk about it. And honestly, people have been talking about it. And people, 
actually been talking about it on other YouTube channels. Like, hey, Mozzie got this new verse out, man, unreleased music. Who's this? You know what I mean? So it kind of helped me out personally and promotionally. But that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to market your music. Understand, you know, John Diesel's perception. We are on two different sides of the fence. I do, I do get where he's coming from, and he's entitled to it. Just like I've been entitled to talk about certain people. He's entitled to talk about me and how he feels. There's nothing wrong with that. I usually don't pay no mind to a lot of individuals that, you know, use my face and put my thumb, put my face on the thumbnails or, or react to a subject that I talk about. There's nothing I can do. I learned that the hard way. If it's a video about me, I really don't watch it. This one in particular caught my attention only because I didn't want everybody on YouTube to have the misconception that I'm over here doing big things and that I'm trying to make it seem like I'm doing big things. Which gave him the, the, the entitlement to have an opinion, very strong opinions, especially that man's comment section. Dudes were like, oh, bro, keep it a bug, bro. If he knew, if Mozzie knew you were a DO, he would have messed with you. Like, I didn't even know you were from Sacramento. I didn't even know you knew Mozzie. Oh, did you go, did you guys share rooms together? I mean, that, that blows my mind. Like, you know the way that man thinks? I mean, then, how, then teach me how he writes his bars, bro, so I can get good like him. Now, there was a lot of haters in that comment section. I'm not saying John Diesel was a hater. I'm saying he has his own opinion. He's entitled to his own opinion. I don't know if Mozzie is a sellout because at the end of the day, what Mozzie is doing is he's selling out the world. That's what he's doing. He's making money. You really think that man cares about who got that verse and who's rapping on that verse? You know, it's, in all actuality, it'd be clout chasing. I got a verse. I'm trying to say, like, I, you know, I got a song for Mozzie. That's been, in all actuality, that's clout chasing. That's what I'm doing. But all it is is a marketing strategy, a promotional strategy, just to get my music out there a little bit more in hopes that I'll open up bigger doors. I highly doubt Mozzie's somewhere in the world right now. And, you know, you know, hell gangs all around. I'm like, damn, bro, you over here rapping with DLs, bro. Damn, bro, you sound out like that, bro. That boy got millions, bro. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think he's worried about where the verse went or who's talking about the verse or this small little crowd that's on YouTube that can't stand the fact that quote unquote, this DL got a verse from, from, from this individual and people are speculating on like, oh, Mozzie sell it. Man, them same dudes that are hating on me for rap, having a verse of Mozzie will be bumping Mozzie songs by the morning or the next time they're in their car. They're not going to just change the perception on Mozzie. But I do get your opinion. So I just wanted to show you the contract agreements. I never said once that I was on, that I'm out here doing big things. But here's the thing though. See, be me investing in my music, I do understand my range of audience. I do understand the people that do listen to my music. And I, as you can see on the screens, yeah, I'm not mainstream yet. I'm not even doing big numbers like Swifty Blue, Chito Ranas, a lot of these Northern California rappers that are Norteños. Not even doing streams close to the Southern California rappers, the Sureño rappers. But my streams are good enough for me. My streams tell me that all these people that I have listened to my songs appreciate it, has taken the time out their day to listen to my music, to appreciate the effort that I'm doing. I I've always said it from time and time again. I do music because it's fun. I do music because I feel like I'm good at it. I do music most importantly because I'm trying to leave a catalog for my cousin. May he rest in peace since he loved music. I'm doing this for him. So whether I go places or I don't go places, that's entirely up to God. And that's entirely up to the audience that I build and the support system that I build that's going to help me get there or keep me in the position I'm in. But to be all actuality, whether those blessings come in life, that's up to God and that's up to my audience. At least I know me and my audience together making these YouTube videos, making, making this YouTube channel, sharing my stuff, taking the time to listen to my music. You know, we're building it as a team. So my audience is going to get me there. So at least my audience deserves me actually continuously waking up, trying, making a song, rewriting music, work collabing with other artists, and getting my music out there. And if they blow it up, they blow it up. If they don't, trust me, I'm happy either way. I'm happy because I'm blessed to be out. I'm happy that I'm blessed that some people took the opportunity to listen to my music, love my music, share my music. Regardless, I don't think anybody's tripping off the simple fact that I got a verse from Mozzie, man. What's Mozzie going to do about it? You know, is he going to sell hell? Is he going to send hell gang on me? Nobody's thinking like that. So as a, as, a, as a YouTube creator, man, you're gonna do what you gotta do. You're gonna talk about what you wanna talk about. You're gonna have your perceptions on me. Obviously, I know that. I never, you've never left a disrespectful comment in my comment section, nor have I done your channel. Cause like I said, I do watch your stuff from time to time. I just like the way you vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's cool. It reminds me of my, my old cellies that were from the Bay Area, from the Yay. But um, I'm just saying, these kind of subjects, I know a lot of my audience members doesn't want me to respond to them. 
But that's the same way I'm going to teach my kids, man. We got to stand up and speak for themselves, man. Because if people, if I let the haters just talk all their smack and bully me around and make all these frivolous comments and, and jokes about me and they don't get addressed, then we're just giving a lot more power to a lot of this hater world, these big, this big world full of haters and spectators and people, non-believers and people that don't want to support you. We got to give them more reasons to talk about. So I'm going to give him more reasons to talk about not only addressing the issues, but I'm also trying to challenge these issues, too, and show these guys that just because you guys don't like me, just because you guys hate me, or just because some people have make videos about me and it gives you the right to go talk all this smack about me because people are using me in their thumbnails and, you know, all of a sudden I'm the main attraction where everybody feels like if they react to me, it's going to bring traffic to them, whatever the case may be. You know, at some point, if we allow people like this and allow haters to to continue to be haters and continue to belittle people and continue to talk down on people and talk smack about people, they become too powerful. So I, like I said, I'm, I'm going to, I'm be willing to stand up for certain, certain aspects, not all of them. Some of them, you're just like, bro, grow up, bro, man, get a life, bro. Like you're hella childish. You sound dumb as hell. You know, those ones I don't really care about, but when it comes to serious matters, serious subjects, sometimes a hater might just ask me a simple comment or, or make a simple comment that I'm like, you know what, I could justify this comment and argue with them. I'm a real debatable person, bro. That's how I just how I always been. But um, sorry that I had to bring this video to your guys' attention, but I also did tell John Dees that I was going to break it all down. So there is no misconception about me trying to make it seem like I'm doing big things like other YouTubers would have done. Trust me on that. I'd rather just be transparent, be real as hell, and let you guys know. All I did was lease the V for 10 years, lease the verse, and I did my thing. And I'm going to continue to do opportunities like that to make sure my music gets up there. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. When you got one chance to do this right, let's get it done. Peace.